Welcome to Triple Trouble. I am here at uh, Simon's uh, workshop from uh, Simon's Bow Company. Uh, he typically makes uh, horse bows, which are pretty awesome, and we have made a video about that, so I will link it below. Um, but I'm actually here for something else today. I uh, brought some old uh, Hoyt gold medalist uh, limbs from uh, the 90s, and um, I acquired them, and then it turns out that one of the limbs uh, has delaminated a bit. So um, I called up uh, Simon to ask me uh, or ask him if he can fix it. So uh, we're gonna see if that can, that's possible. I think so. Okay, let's get started. So what's the first thing uh, we're gonna do? Uh, first, we're gonna use some uh, masking tape uh, to tape up the the bow pieces uh, which we do not want to have the glue swatches on okay. so if the glue comes out when we press it together uh, we do not have to sand, sand it off okay. uh, so that's what I'm going to do now The inside will be a little bit more difficult, but that's just a um, So now it's all, uh, the edges are taped off, and now you can see the room between where we can put the glue between but now if the glue comes out it will not hurt the bow uh, it will be on the masking tape and then get the tape off and there's no glue only here a little bit but then we can sand off later uh, so next step is I'm gonna use some uh, acetone to uh, degrease and uh, clean the inside a little bit yes so I will put on my gloves. <laughs> no, that's not bad. Okay, so now we uh, degreased uh, between the layers, so we can put uh, the glue between it and clamp it together. So I used uh, the G1 flex two part epoxy for uh, gluing uh, the, the Macarta tips on my own bows. Uh, it's a really strong glue and I will use this glue uh, to repair the the bow. I use another glue for the lamination of my bows but this glue is really great for uh, the bow tips. Does that mean this glue is stronger than the glue you would use for the lamination? Or is it just a different one? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just stronger, but the glue I use for my uh, laminations is, uh, stays flexible uh, and can be heated very hot. And this glue, I don't know if it's... Uh, I think some uh, bow makers use it to laminate the whole bow, but i never done it. And the glue I use for the working part of the bow stays a little bit flexible. Okay. So equal parts of both? Yes. Yes, equal parts and uh, to laminate the whole bow I measure it by weight uh, but this glue for small piece is enough just uh, by volume. So the tricky part will be to get it good between the layers. So I hope we will get it done, but I think so. 
So now it's a bit yellow. If it dries, it will be clear. If, it, if the glue is uh, dry, uh, it will be a uh, clear finish. Dus dat is misschien goed. Dus eerst bij het uiteinde, dan probeer ik daar. En dan je alleen. Ja, zal ik dan. Uh, So you see now the, the glue uh, smudges coming out from the sides and most of it will be on the masking tape and it will be removed very easily. Every, all, if we clamp it together all the excess glue will come out the side so we just do a little, a little bit of extra glue because it will squeeze out. Okay now we will uh, clamp it together. Uh, so I will use uh, two or three of these clamps and I use uh, two uh, pieces of bamboo so I will not damage the bow with the uh, metal clamps. So I start uh, more at the center and then I clamp it towards the end so the glue can come out more easily and there's not like a bubble in between. Okay, so now the epoxy is on the the pocket side of the limb. Yeah. Um, do we just let it dry like this, or? Uh, no, we will use some uh, some excess heat uh, with a, a normal uh, lamp uh, to make it a little bit more uh, higher temperature, mm -hmm. and then the glue will uh, set faster and the bond will be stronger. Okay. Uh, I don't know how hot I can make it because I don't know how what temperature is used to glue these limbs, so yeah. I will not make it too hot. Uh, but just, but just a mild heat uh, will be enough. Is it needed to uh, set the glue or is it just to speed up the process? Uh, no, both. Okay. Yeah. And it will make the glue bond stronger than when you uh, glue it at room temperature. Okay. So um, I guess we need to look for a glowing bulb. Or? Yeah, I will get one. Okay. Now <laughs> I'll put one here. Yeah. Uh, I will use some uh, tin foil uh, around the bulb so the heat will stay a little bit in there and not go all in the workshop. And uh, like this. Obviously I'm just doing this and bringing this assignment because I cannot get these limbs anywhere else and I found an old pair that I uh, would like to shoot with my vintage bows. Uh, if you have any malfunction or failure in your equipment, I recommend going back to the dealer where you got it and uh, not trying to fix it yourself like we are doing here. This is basically, or basically just a video of uh, us trying to fix a limb that's not available anymore. So, uh, meanwhile we wait until the glue sets. But uh, to be really scientific, uh, I want to measure the temperature and by touch. So I will feel here if it's not getting too hot because I don't know 
how hot the limbs are glued, so hard it can get. But if I can touch it a little bit and it's warm but not like burning my finger, I think it will be okay. So it's pretty warm. I think I can make a little bit more distance between the, the heat source and the bow. Well, it's looking good. So the glue is cured. Now we can uh, let it cool down to uh, room temperature. So I will turn off the heat lamp, plug it in, and then I think 50 minutes, and uh, we can see if it works. Uh, so now the, the bow lip has uh, cooled down to uh, room temperature, so I can uh, get the clamps off, off and uh, then we can see the, the results. Nice, extra layer of bamboo. Extra layer of bamboo. Oh, I see here, it's not enough glue. So you see here that the, the glue is uh, has hardened, so uh, you see where there's not too much heat, the glue still is a bit sticky. See, and here where there was enough heat, it's uh, okay. Does this mean that we have to let it sit for a while, or no? Because okay. here, th this part is pretty warm, was warm, so we'll okay. be fine. So, I'll get the tape off. want to close up so now there's no gap anymore nice uh, so now here's a little bit of glue uh, that is a bit sticky because the heat was where the the failure of the bowling was so I will try to get it off with some uh, uh, acetone because it's still a bit sticky So you can see that the glue here uh, is off now, it's cleaned. And the rest of the glue, which is hardened, I will uh, uh, file away with uh, some sandpaper and then file. done for the day and um, these are gonna probably sit in my living room until uh, I put the bushings back in because they're not, there's no bushings right now. Um, I'd like to thank you for uh, taking the time to do this. Sure, um, of course. If you haven't checked out his bows, uh, I will link his website below so uh, you can check them out over there. And uh, I'm gonna shoot these and uh, you will be able to watch that as I'm gonna film it. So. Thanks for watching, uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you uh, haven't done it already and see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.